Hey there guys, welcome to Champoton, Campeche. We are, have been living here in Champoton, Campeche for a while. As you might have noticed, I've gotten a few videos from there, from this place. We're gonna take a walk into the market because I'm hungry for some TV pollo. I'm here with, where are you Maria? Hello guys, subscribe to my channel, where are you Maria? And Please. her cousin. Aquí está Jose Angel. Hola. That's Jose Angel, he's Hola. Maria's cousin. Primos. Primos. We're gonna go to market. I'm hungry for some pibi pollo. I wanna show you guys some pibi pollo. Okay. Let's go get some PB for you guys. I have to duck because everything is low around here. It's actually not too good. Big bang time. Hopefully there's not too much music because these places are infamous for lots of loud music. So this is it, this is the Champoton main market in the center of town and it's located right next to the water, right next to the Gulf of Mexico. You just cross the street and you're in the Gulf of Mexico. Hey, what do you guys think about my new YouTube shirt? Black. Instead of the black that I always use, got a red. Like I said, I'm gonna have some new colors. I'm gonna head to a new country. I love the markets here in Mexico. They are great. Look at the tomatoes. Look at these hot peppers. Everything fresh and organic. We got the chicken, chicken, chicken. And as you might have noticed in other videos I've made here in Mexico, meat, chicken, all that stuff, it's not refrigerated here. Nothing is refrigerated. And nobody gets sick. It's crazy how it works, but that's how it goes. So we were here. No pipi boy. Tamales colados. Hay tamales colados. We're out of pipi pollo. So I'm gonna have to have a tamale colado. We're gonna check somewhere else yeah, if they have. Let's go. We're gonna check somewhere else if they have. I really wanted to try one. A pipi pollo is almost like a tamale, except it's bigger. Much, much bigger. I know. Are you okay? Panuchos de cochinita, relleno, camarón. No, yo no quiero panuchos. ¿Tú quieres el tamal? Pues a buscar el tamal allá. Tamal, ok, sí. yo quiero panuchos, yo aquí. Sí. Bueno, consigue tus tamales y los traes acá. ¿Lo puedo comer aquí? Sí. Ok, Anda. en mi manito. So they're going to eat panuchos. And um, I don't want panuchos. I'm going to have tamal instead. So let me go get the tamal. I'm not too crazy about panuchos. They're good, but you know, it's deep fried flour with a stuffing inside. So let me go get a tamal. And the guy said we can eat it at this stall. And the tamal, where you are, Tres? Tres. 
Sí, lo voy a comer allá. Pero ellos van a comer panuchos, a mí no me gusta panuchos. So this is where we got pibi pollo in another video. Recuerdas yo hice un video aquí hace años con pibi pollo. Por eso regresé y digo, yo quiero pibi pollo otra vez. Que nos levantamos muy tarde hoy. Sí. Sí. Ajá. So this is where I got the pibi pollo in the last video. Well, what, two years ago, something like that. And here they have different meats for. I don't know what. Sandwiches, I think, because they got bread in here. What was it? Venta. Okay. Me das un tenedor de plástico. Gracias. Gracias. I got myself three tamales and it cost 90 pesos. I don't know how much it is, but I'll put it right down here. I'll put it right there, 90 pesos. How much it'll be? Because it is 16 60 for a US dollar. So I'll put the rate how much it is in US dollars down there. So they are going to get panuchos here. This is all the stuff for making the panuchos. All the different meats and fillings. And things like that. Si. Gracias. And here we are in the market. Look at that. Selling veggies, selling stuff all around us. All around us. So they gave me a plate. So I can eat my tamales. As you know, do so where are you, Maria? She got panuchos. What kind of panuchos are they? Oh, I got have this shrimp. shrimp. Uh, this is the cochinita and the pollo asado. Oh, they do the panuchos different because the others had the filling inside and these no, are laying on top. This is panuchos. The oh. other one is the different, different foods. Hay panuchos, hay sopes, y hay este, ¿cómo se llama? Pero nosotros tenemos el panucho que estaba adentro. Es que cada every state has a different way of yeah. cooking. Yeah, and we ate that in Campeche. Yes. It was I have that video. So, anyway, and I got my tamal. They got their panuchos. He's Looks getting good. his right now. And he's gonna get some too. Hola. And I'm gonna eat this. So. I hope it's good. I think it'll be good. I am chowing down on my tamal. It's chicken, chicken tamal, chicken tamale. And they give you a little red pepper sauce that you can dump on top. And it's good. It is good. Cheers. Over here they're eating panuchos. How is the panucho? They are so good. They're good? Mm. So fresh, nice and hot. Yeah. The, the tortilla is crispy, but very good. Very good. Soft and crispy. Uh -huh. I prefer the tamal. Or the pimi for you. Any day. You want to try the shrimp one? So you can taste it. One bite. Okay, hold it here. I am so sorry about tamales. I should have got this instead. This has shrimp inside. There, This has shrimp inside. Oh man, it's delicious, man. Shit, I should have ordered these. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see various videos aquí in the mercado.
Look, I just bought the whole thing. I was gonna have one bite. I ate the whole damn thing. Cinco. Tres. Mm. I am on here on my second tamal. On the second one, I bought I bought three, but I don't think I'll be able to eat all three because I have, I have one of these panuchos over there, and I'm getting full, 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 full. Uh, these are good, and they're big. They're big and fat. I used to have one time in my life I used to be able to eat ten tamales. Now when I eat three, that's a lot. And this is my second one, and I'm getting stuffed. So let me finish that off and then I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the market. I'm gonna walk around and show you some more of the market, see what it looks like. Now what's better than to wash down a good tamal is a good Coca-Cola in a glass bottle. Half a liter. Half a liter Coke in a glass bottle. Hundred percent more tasty then classic and this is made with sugar cane sugar cane sugar the real stuff none of that fake ass sugar get up in north america here in the market see this is the restaurant section more restaurants down there yeah, more Look, restaurants going I that way. It was so good. I ordered three more. You ordered three more? Yeah. Holy cow. I ate six already. What? Man, you could eat. It is so good. Nine. Nine. She ate nine. That's a record. I know. I know. <laughs> awesome. I ate two tamales and one of the one of the panuchos. And that's it for me. I am stuff, 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 stuff. So he is here doing the bookkeeping. What does años he been here? Doce años. Twelve years. Doce años corriendo este negocio aquí. Doce años. Él tenía doce años desde niño. Desde niño. From when he's twelve years old, he's been working in this. Oh, he's been running here. I guess for his parents first. Con tu papas. With his parents, he'd been running this since he's 12 years old. Parents are long gone, or really old or something. Now he's running it. Crazy. Well, that was one heck of a meal. One heck of a meal. Here is more food, more food, more food. I am so full, and I'm sweating. I am just sweating. Sweat is running down, running down my forehead. Here I'm in the famous unrefrigerated meat section. Okay, we got chicharron. Oh, that stuff is good, man. We chop that up into little pieces like that with tortillas. Delicious. Ribs. Pig feet. Yeah, that chicharron, you chop that up and it has the little fatty pieces. It's just awesome. You eat it with tortillas, you put a little salsa on top. Pig heads. Oh, I love pig head. The boiled pig head. Eat that with mustard. See, all the meat is unrefrigerated. Hey, and nobody ever gets sick. Nobody ever gets sick with this stuff. Okay, got jewelry. And take a walk around here. See a bathroom, three pesos. You can use the bathroom. They charge three pesos because that's the business. They rent it. They charge three pesos for cleaning. You know, they keep it clean. As clean as it'll get in this part of the world. Which ain't always the cleanest. Look at the shrimp. Look at the size of these shrimp. Look at that. Look my hand. Look at the size of the shrimp. Big, big, big bubbles. And as you know, it smells like fish. Really strong. My feet might smell like fish because I'm wearing flip flops and the floor is wet with fish juice. I might have to go wash my 
repeat after this. See, she has a stick there for the flies. Hola. Hola, saludos a tu amigo de YouTube. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo te llamas? Denny. Denny. That's Denny. De los camarones. ¿Cómo sale el kilo de esos? Este, 240. 240 pesos for these shrimp. Look at the size of those things. Divide that by 1660. And gracias. Divide that by 1660 and you'll know how much it is. In US dollars, it's big jumbos. Here, back in selling shoes, clothes. Ah, Mexican markets. The oh, was so full of life. Fancy dresses. I'd probably only like 100, 200 pesos a piece. A the Mexican, they love shoes. So. All the shoes you want. What if I could find the rest of these people where I left them? I might have lost them. I'm going to make another video driving around this town for about 30,000 people. Make a video driving around in the older section of the city so you guys can see. So check it out. It'll be coming on sometime after this. Here's outside dining section. Look at it. More restaurants out here. Ah, oh, we should have ate out here. It's cooler. The breeze out here is nice. And that is the highway there. That's the main highway going through town. Crazy amount of traffic along there. So out here is cool. Out here we have a little breeze blowing. Because in there where we ate it was hot. Hola! <laughs> it was hot out there. Yeah, there are a lot of big trucks coming along here. Look at that. Huge, huge, huge. Look at this guy selling hammocks. See how loaded he is with hammocks? Uh, here we're back to fruits and veggies. There is the famous Indian guy who guards the bay. I'm gonna take a walk over there. I'm gonna walk over there and show you guys. Really, really pretty. Stop for pedestrians. Getting modern, man. They actually stop for pedestrians. Very good. I like it. Cause they actually have a crosswalk there, so since it's a crosswalk, they like by law kind of have to stop. So if a cop sees them, they get in trouble. So there you can see the markets from the waterfront. Big market, Mercado Público Manuel Pavón Congora. Right next to it is the Adio bus station. You can catch the Adio bus, i will take you all over Mexico. Look at the pelicans. I forgot the name. Look at the pelicans chilling out. Just relaxing there on the water. This is beautiful along here. And there's a nice beach, but I think that's private property beach. I think that belongs to the government. Because I really haven't found any really good beaches here. Maybe way back there. Maybe they got beaches there. But most of the city here, this town, city, I don't know what you would call it, 30,000 people, does not really have any beaches. Which a little disappointment. Here you have the warrior. See, he got his spear, he got his club. Look at jade necklace. He's wearing a jaguar on his head. And at his foot, 
at his foot he has a Spanish conquistador's helmet he killed the Spanish conquistador coming to take over his lands he killed him that's why he's got the helmet at his foot cool beautiful piece of art really nice look at the jaguar on his head awesome here we are I'm gonna put brand new stainless steel railings last time I was here these were all rusted rusted out I like that land over there but yeah that's some I think that's a military station or something like that but talk about nice beach so they say you could walk along here I guess you probably can somehow get on there you could walk along here it's shallow all the way out there and I don't know if you could see it but right back there behind that kid's head there's like a little island and they're supposed to have like underwater nativity sets and stuff like that there was actually once a chapel there got blown away with the hurricane guys don't forget to like subscribe and please leave some comments because I, I got a lot of a lot of subscribers already but I'm kind of lacking in the comment department I need more comments it would be good good for the channel you know help it grow they fix this up really nice I like it I like it Okay, last time we were here we stayed at a hotel around the corner here Hotel Gemini's well, it was pretty good I didn't make any video of it but it was pretty good but this time we slept in the van let's take a walk down here I think I can get right to the water here I saw some stairs going down oh man this is a nice spot here look at this this is oh you can tie a boat here that this is awesome we can get right to the pelicans look at the pelicans chilling out on the rocks see how close I can get before they take off they're watching me like uh uh those are starting to swim out already they don't trust me these here they're okay but they're keeping an eye on me awesome looking birds sadly keep them drinking along here and throwing the trash in but you know this part of the world that's kind of a normal thing what can we do about it people don't have that civic pride yet but this is great yeah so you could tie up boats here I've never seen a boat along here but I guess they do tie up boats maybe a fishing boats when they come in I don't know could be because it smells very fishy very very fishy I like that beach over there Oh yeah, I see the soldiers, soldiers walking on the beach. Man, that'd be a place to hang up a hammock. Up here there's a pelican sitting on this railing. Let's see how close we can get to him before he takes off. I walk really slow and I won't talk too loud. I don't want to scare him. I won't go too close to him. He's getting jumpy. It's okay, I won't bother you. I won't bother you. He said, no way. I don't trust that white guy. See, the army's going into a boat, see? Right over there. Soldier, he got a little outboard, little aluminum boat. There's an ambulance parked there, too. That's a nice property. This is it here, Zona Centro, right there, here in Champoton, Campeche. 
Well, let me go look for my wife. Where are you, Maria? And her cousin. They probably lost me. I didn't bring my phone along. I left my phone in the house. So they can't even call me by phone. Okay, I left the phone charging. Graffiti. A lot of garbage. Lots and lots of garbage. That's pretty cool still. Once you get over the garbage, you'll survive. <coughs> Alright, let me try across the street safely. Someone driving a Mercedes Benz, look at that. Here they stop for you. That's good. That's good that they stop for us. People crossing the street. There's Adeo bus. <laughs> I thought this was my VW van. It happens to be painted almost the same colors as the local uh, Colectivo taxis. <laughs> what a coincidence. Let me go see if I find those people. Where the heck they are. Hope you guys are enjoying this walkabout. The market, the main market here in Champotón, Campeche. If not, if I can't find them, I'll just walk back to the car. I'll be there waiting for me, mad that I disappeared. But you know, I gotta walk around. I gotta make a video for you guys. I'll keep you entertained. I walk past the place we were eating. I don't think they will be there anymore. But I'll still walk past there. And see if I can find them. If not, I'll walk out towards the car. Uh, retrace my steps maybe I'll find them somewhere get out nope not this way it'll be this way I don't think I could get lost I'm semi lost but not 100% lost okay I'm lost tortilla factory back there You can buy your plants, your flowers, sweet stuff. Oh yeah, I, I'm finding my way again. I've been all over the world, I don't think I could get lost in a market. The market I do get lost in a lot is Merida Central Market because it's huge. Crazy huge. Yeah, so I'll head back towards the vehicle and hopefully they're over there. <clears throat> I always enjoy walking through these Mexican markets. So much life and stuff happening and people hustling and selling and living their lives. It's hot, but you know what? At least it's not snowing. Hot is good that way. <coughs> so here I am. I am out. There they are back there. They're way back there. I knew they'd be waiting for me there. And I got you guys a nice 
long video to enjoy. Oh, look at that parking. Look at the parking. Oh, yeah. Sketchy, but the guy made it. Looks like a good place to get the front of your vehicle scratched. What? Why? Because you park wrong. They said that one way you cannot park on this side, it has to be on the other. Oh. We gotta move. So we don't get a ticket. Bye bye. See you next time. So it was a one way street we were parked at, and we found out that here in Mexico, on a one way street, you can only park on one side. You can't park on both sides of the streets. And the uh, police were gonna give a ticket. I was in the market and they went back to the vehicle and the police were there gonna give them a, give us a ticket, right? And wait, it's a tight squeeze with no power steering. Police were gonna give a ticket so they gave them a 50 peso bribe and we're free to go. You're lucky I had to I had to really sweeten them up. Yeah. You're good at that anyway. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I was good. Yeah, so I give him a good. Ese es un Jeep bonito. Hasta bien bonito. Mira el otro también, puro Jeep bonito. Mira, ahí hay otro aquí. Yo tenía, yo tenía así en Belice. He's gonna park with yeah. you. Yeah. No, he can't park there. Oh, he can park up there. Yeah. That's a nice ride, except this is a two door. Not the best. Look at this, look at this. Crazy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so we gave the police a well Maria, where are you Maria gave the police a 50 peso bribe? And we're good to go. But they said you better hurry get out of here. Because if another cop shows up, you can't talk your way out of it. Then the bribe is bigger. Yeah, then the bribe will get bigger. And have to be another 50 for the other one. So he got his 50 pesos and he's standing there watching us and he waved when he left and that's it. So Enjoy the video, bye bye!